Okay, in the second video here, I just want to define my machine. So I'm going to go to my machine tab, mill, and you can see I've got no default machine. So manage list, and I'm going to select the generic Haas three axis mill millimeters and add green tick. Now again, I need to go into the drop down menu here and select the machine, and that then gives me machine group one here on the top. Okay, so now I want to set up my stock. So I'm going to expand the machine group one properties. Click stock setup. And in this case, I could select all entities. And by selecting all entities, what that does, defining the stock to the full extremities of the model. So it's going to be 100 by 150 in X and Y and 27 in the Z, which is the overall height of the solid model in here. OK, I'm going to add 6 mil to this. So I'm going to make that 106 and add 56 mil to that. And I'm going to add 15 millimeters to the overall height. So I could actually go in there plus 15. The origin of the stock is set to the center of the model. So it will be expanded by 3 millimeters per side in X and Y. But the 15 millimeters at the moment has all been added to the bottom, OK? Um, because the Z is set to 0. So actually, what I want to do is set the top of the stock to Z1. And if I go green tick on here, that you can see then if I look down at the top, the red dashed line is indicating the size of the stock. So I have added th uh, three millimeters per side in the X and the Y. But if I look at the front of the model now, you can see here that I have added one millimeter of stock of raw material above Z0. So again, you'd see that here in my Y value. Okay, roughly about one there. And then obviously the remaining material, 14 millimeters, has been added to the underside of the stock, which is essentially what I'm going to use to hold it in the vise. So back to an isometric view. Just to recap then, you can go to view. We can toggle between showing or hiding the stock and then also toggle between whether we want to see the stock shaded or as wireframe.